you're you're saying that whenever you enter into a conversation with a mythicist, you are uh, nearly a hundred percent of the time going to get it right if you just assume they're ignorant dumbasses and that they just ha- they don't know how to do historical research whatsoever. And I, no. uh, you're just going to get bit in the ass every single time if you do that. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure I will, um, uh, and I'm sure most people do. But that's 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 not that's not what I'm saying. Um, okay. Like like what like like what I said is um, I'm not assuming that they're dumbasses or whatever. I'm assuming that because they don't agree with the consensus of scholarship, that they've arrived at their conclusions for separate reasons than scholarship. Okay, that's that's, somebody. That's my claim. So somebody can make the exact same assumption about you and the resurrection. Is that a fair assumption? Yep. Yeah. No, that's not a fair assumption. It, yeah, it's it not is. a fair assumption. No, no, it's not. No, it is. Because I've, I've arrived at the, re- the the reason why I don't accept the resurrection account is not just because I doubt biblical scholarship. No, uh, no. It, it, what I'm talking about is a Christian hearing that you don't believe in in the resurrection, and them being like, "Oh, you just want to sin. You like you you love no, your sin. Well, that's, that's why that's you stupid. don't believe." Yeah, that's that's stupid. Exactly. But come, that's the exact Christian same way up, I feel about what you're saying right now. Yeah. Well, I can I can explain if a Christian came up to me the, the same like an, an like use the same analogy. If a Christian came up to me and said. Um, hey Dave, um, the mo- majority of scholars believe that there was a resurrection, and you don't. You're going against the scholarship, right? I mean, um, you you must have. You must have. Yeah, you must have separate reasons for determining that Jesus wasn't resurrected, in which I do. So that's mm-hmm. that's my claim when it comes to mythicists. They have to have something because they don't agree with the the majority of scholarship. Um, they have to then um, rely on something outside of scholarship. And in which case, the only thing, the, the thing that most stands out for me is that it makes it easy for them to dismiss a lot of claims uh, of, of Christians. But but you you have to understand that there are more people than, you know, just Christians that are doing, you know, uh, uh, you know, work in the field of like um, uh, Jesus resurrection stuff. Like, and it's not just like the field of biblical studies for that, Mm. but that's, that would be the ones that set the consensus for resurrection. And for you to assume that somebody is just not looking at scholarship. I mean, that's, that's just not a good way to go about it. Don't you agree? Yeah, definitely. It's not a good way to go about it. But once again, I'm not, I'm not stating that these people haven't looked at biblical scholarship. I'm stating that the majority of people who do look at mythicism are look at, uh, and are subscribing to the idea aren't doing it for the biblical scholarship. They're doing it, they're, they're, they're underlying, the underlying reason for associating themselves with that belief. Um, for, for the majority it, of people. Is it, is it just because they disagree with the consensus of Christians? Well, um, no, well, it, it, like I said, it, I think it makes it easier for them. Let, let me ask you a question and let's, let's see if I can, c- can I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So why do you think most people believe in flat earth? The uh, people who do believe why, in flat earth, why do you think they believe in flat earth? I mean, I don't, I don't know why some people believe in flat earth. I, I think so, some people think that they know the math and science better than mm-hmm. uh, others, but they're not actually using scholars uh, or scientists rather, or actual math or any kind of mathematical principles in order to prove their points. They're just armchair mathematicians and physicists. And that, that's what so it is. But, do, but, do, but again, do you think that not, not, not armchair like yeah, these yeah. are PhD if, historians here. Yeah, yeah. If we can like just, but that just doesn't table matter the, to you. Yeah, yeah. It, no, Charles, sorry. I don't mean to I'm not once again, I'm not trying to dis dis I'm just giving you my perspective. I'm happy to learn about it if this is my fist, but just with this thought experiment with when it comes to um, flat earthers, when I engage with flat earthers and I'm engaging with them at the time at the moment on my channel, is it seems that most of them aren't physicists and mathematicians. In fact, I would say Almost none of them are mathematicians and, and physicists or people with with academic degrees. Most of them have been convinced because of uh, YouTube YouTube videos, and the YouTube videos are exciting. 
They feel special because they believe in this fringe idea. They find community in these groups of people that believe something that goes against the grain. Most of the people you won't find, like most of the people that are flat earthers are also probably anti-establishment. They're also probably, um, they don't wear, they're, they're anti-maskers. They're probably anti-vax. They're probably all these other things that their personality is tied up in anti there's a there's a whole variety of reasons why someone actually subscribes to flat earth and very little of it has to do with the actual evidence right that's 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 what what i've seen talking to people now i could be wrong about this but every you know i work for a surveying and town planning firm and so i know the 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 maths that we put into our data recorders to make spherical earths you know 2d plans on a spherical earth so i know the maths i know that my whole industry isn't a lie, right? But what, but what I what I've noticed, so I've had a lot of engagement with photos. And what I've noticed is it's not just the evidence, because it's it's these all these other things. So when it comes to mythicism, now I may be wrong about this, but it seems as though it's 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 a fun idea, it's uh, a fringe idea, which is interesting to some people, and it gives it's it's uh, it's interesting, and it also gives people a reason not. To, like, to, to dismiss a lot of um, what people are talking about with the historical Jesus. Mm -hmm.